Good morning, everybody, and happy Sabbath. This morning, we're starting in the Adventist home. It says, Satan and his angels are busy creating a paralyzing condition of the senses so that cautions, warnings, and reproofs will not be heard. Or if they're heard, they will not be taken to heart and will not reform the life. God calls upon you as his followers to walk in the light. You need to be alarmed. Sin is among us, but it, it is often not seen to be exceedingly sinful. The senses of many are being numbed by the indulgence and familiarity with sin. We need to advance nearer and still nearer to heaven. I want to know more about my Jesus. Traveling through this world of sorrow, I'm on my way to glory land. I'll not turn back for some tomorrow. My trials here I'll understand. I want to know more about my Jesus. I want to know more about my Lord. I want to know more about the mansion. I'm going to receive as my reward. I want to know more about that homeland. And I mean to go some way, somehow. And after I'll reach that heaven, I mean to know more than I know now. He promised when he ascended, I'm coming back, the Lord did say. If on his promise you've depended, you'll live with him in heaven one day. I want to know more about my Jesus. I want to know more about my Lord. I want to know more about the mansion. I'm going to receive as my reward. I want to know more about that homeland. And I mean to go some way, some and after I'll reach that heavenly city, I mean to know more than I know now. So don't give up, faithful pilgrims. Stay on the path that's narrow and straight. He'll soon be here to take us with him. To our new home with pearly gates I want to know more about my Jesus I want to know more about my Lord I want to know more about that mansion I'm going to receive as my reward I want to know more about that home and I mean to go some way, somehow. And after I'll reach that heavenly city, I mean to know more than I know now. I mean to know more than I know now. Can't wait to know more than I know. In Call to Medical Evangelism, it talks about reform. Continual reform must be kept before the people. And by our example, 
we must reinforce our teachings. It is impossible to work for the salvation of souls without presenting to them the need of breaking away from sinful gratifications. These things that destroy the health, debase the soul, and prevent divine truth from entering the mind. Men and women must be taught to take a careful review of every habit and every practice, and at once put away those things that cause an unhealthy condition of the body, and thus cast a dark shadow over the mind. Love the Lord is our next song. With all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength, I will serve you, Lord, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, and with all my With all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, with all my strength, I will love you, Lord, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all With all my strength. Lastly, this morning, in Testimonies for the Church, God sees how hard it is for us to be patient and forgiving, and He knows how to help. He requires us to reform our lives and to correct our defects. He desires that our spirit should be subdued by His grace. 
We should seek the help of God, for we need peace and quiet instead of storm and contention. The religious the religion of Christ requires us to move less from impulse and more from sanctified reason and calm judgment. I've got peace like a river. Mm.